Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how you can disable or technically enable the folder options in Windows 10. This should also be valid for Windows 8 and Windows 7. So pretty much what this is, is usually when you open up files and documents, stuff like that, you usually have folders that exist. And you can see history and stuff that's saved on there. Well, believe it or not, people can actually can clear that out and that way you that way they won't be able to know what they've been on and you won't be able to notice from them. What happens if you want to disable it? So pretty much right here it has pretty much what recently used files and what's frequently used folders and stuff like that. Customization, stuff of view, hit, be able to see hidden folders, stuff like that. These are the same features where you would uncheck them to be able to see hidden folders and other stuff like that. Well if you want to disable this so they won't be able to uncheck the stuff that's hidden and won't be able to pretty much edit and see the history stuff that what they've actually had because pretty much if you have this disabled then you'll be able to notice notice it um, then we'll be showing you how to do it so let's go ahead and get started so there's pretty much two options that this can be done the other one's very simple you're pretty much using registry editor and this is valid for pretty much for anyone from windows 10 home Pro Enterprise, you shouldn't have any problems like that. Now, the second option we're going to be showing you is using Group Policy. That's a lot easier, but this is only valid for people who have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise for this to work. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you would do is pretty much go to Start, and once you get there, just go ahead on the search bar, just type in Reg Edit, and you'll pretty much select it, and you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press Yes, and you should have something that looks something like this. If it is, just close it up, and it should look something like it and you should be able to get to it. So what you are going to do is go to current user and we're going to go to software and then from there we're going to go ahead and go to Microsoft and then we're going to go to Windows and then we're going to choose current version and then from there we're going to go to policies and then we're going to go ahead and open up a folder called Explore and you should get to that location if it does not exist on the folder you might just need to create, create a new um, pretty much will be a key that contains the folder and then you'll pretty much name it Explorer. This is pretty much you'll get to the same location. What we are going to do now is going to create a new D Word file. So right click on it, be sure you're selected underneath Explorer, right click on it and select new D Word. And the name's going to be called No Folder Options. And by default, for this to be enabled for it to block it, you would actually have to open it and save the value to one. You pretty much can double click it or you can right click it or you can press enter. They'll open up the same location and just be sure you should put the value to one and you should be able to get it. So now I'm going to test this real quick and see if it lets me do it automatically right now. I'm going to go to view and go to options and I'm still able to use it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just sign out and sign back in and we're going to see if this policy will now apply again. So here we are. I'm going to go to view. I'm going to go to options and it now tells me that the restrictions. This option has been canceled due from restrictions in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. That would be whoever pretty much enabled this policy for it. And now you're pretty much there's no way to get to it. It's literally that simple. I go to change options. It's disabled too. And there's nothing else you can really do. So to reverse this step, you'll just go to rig edit again. Open it up. Pretty much be prompted. If it doesn't remember where you were just at, you're pretty much there. Just go to it or if not, go back to the folders again. Current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, policies, and explore. And then just pretty much select the folder and you can change the value by modifying it to value of zero. And that should do the work, pretty much pressing zero like that. Or you can pretty much just delete the file if you don't want it at all. And they will do the same steps. So now if I sign out again. And I'm going to go ahead and sign back in. We're going to be able to see if this policy is now set again that I can get back into it. So here we are. I'm going to go to view. I'm going to go to options. And I'm able to get to folder options like nothing nothing to do with for it so we should be perfectly fine now the second option to get this working is using the system using group policy now this policy can pretty much apply different ways for it it's a slightly different on windows 7 and 8 but you should be able to understand the same concepts regardless we're going to go ahead and go to start 
and we're gonna go type in GP edit and pretty much this group policy will come up. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this and slide this over so you can see it fully. And what you're gonna do is go underneath the current configuration, user current configurations, and we're gonna choose administer templates, and then we're gonna go to Windows Components, and the file that we're actually gonna look for is File Explorer. If you are using pretty much Windows 7, Vista, or XP, you'll see a folder called Windows Explorer. Um, they're technically the same File Explorer, Windows Explorer. They're the same thing, but you would have to choose Windows Explorer if you're using Windows 7, Vista, or XP. Regards, you come to the same location, and what you're going to look for is the one that says do not allow folder options to be opened from open button on view tab or the ribbon. A humongous sentence and pain in the butt. If you're using the Windows 7 or Windows Vista or XP, it'll be removes the folder options menu from the tools menu. You'll see two different names that exist. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and kind of straighten this out because it could be out of order on the on the ABC order and pretty much not set. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down where it says do not allow folder. Do not allow folders to be opened from the options button and tabs view of the ribbon. Humongous sentence for us, but regardless, that's the one that we're going to choose. We're going to go ahead and select it. And I'm going to press enable and press apply and OK. And it's pretty much set. I'm actually going to try it right now, see if it automatically has triggered it. And it has already applied. That was super quick because it's using group policy and it automatically did the step for it. So to re enable again, pretty much to open up GP Edit. And we'll get to the same location. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. And we're going to go to, again, administrative templates. And we're going to go to Windows Components. And then I'm going to go to File Explorer. If you're using the older ones, again, Windows Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and change this order. And I'm pretty much going to go ahead and press Do Not Allow the folder options. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to press Not Configured. Or you can press Disabled. Press Apply. OK. And now when I test this out again, I'm going to go to View and go to Options. I'm able to get to that location with no problems at all. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.